Hi and welcome to video number four in the Java for Beginners series. My name is Hazem, I'm a software developer. And in this video, we're gonna look at the common mistakes that uh, beginners make when they're building their first Java program, the Hello World program. All right, so we're back in the program. And as you can see, I've completely destroyed the program. <laughs> you see, uh, you can, the giveaway is all the red lines under literally everything. So the red lines, are problems that IntelliJ is um, complaining about. It says class or interface is expected at line one. So we have class here, but it's not really it's not really recognizing that it's a class. Why? Well, we said in the last video that um, class and public and others are Java keywords, right? Java keywords move my face away um all right let's look for class here it is that's the class keyword so we have it right no we don't what we have is a capital c l a s s you go back in safari that's not how it's expecting it to be okay so go back to intellij and fix it. So now it's recognized it. And as you can see, the the error is different now. <laughs> Let's see. Always good to see the list of problems that you have. And you know, the column and number is where the problem is, in which line. So it's sorting them by line number. And the ones in red are problems. The ones in yellow are more like warnings. They're not really problems that will break your code. They're just warnings to do with best practices and whatnot. So here, class or interface expected here. Well, we solved that already. Cannot resolve symbol public. So we said public is a keyword, right? So go back to Safari. That's public right there. And we see that I made the same mistake. I capitalized the p now we got rid of the public class problems okay now we fixed the public we fixed the class i see hello worlds but the file is called hello world and we're gonna park this for a bit um we we mentioned that every class has a body and the body is denoted by an opening curly brace and a closing curly brace right so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to take some of the complexity out of the problem. I'm going to cut this temporarily, get rid of it, and have an empty class and resolve all the issues with this empty class. And then I'm going to repaste what I cut just earlier now and fix the problems that are within the class body. Does that make sense? So we're seeing that class Hello Worlds is public should be declared in a file named hello world. What this essentially means is, if you're gonna make it hello worlds class, uh, the, the name of the class, the file name should match. So we're just gonna remove the yes, and then we've gotten rid of all the errors. Now, like I said before, errors are in red, warnings are in yellow. It's just saying to you that it was never been used. So what's the point of it? You might as well just delete it. So that's more like a best practice rather than there's nothing wrong with having an empty class, you know, from, from a compiler standpoint. Uh, so I'm going to repaste what we removed now and we're back into the chaos again. Cannot resolve symbol public. So that's the same issue we had earlier. And you might have guessed void. I've capitalized void. Um, and notice if you cut this, we have an opening and a closing curly brace. So when I paste this, you see that we have an opening curly brace, but no closing curly brace. So that must be missing. So I've added that right now and it's, um, shortened the list of errors that we have. So this error saying cannot resolve the method out print lin in system. 
Well, there is no method called... You remember, this was the printing functionality that we used to print Hello World, right? And it's complaining that in this class, there is no add.println. But if you recall, we had a dot between the out and the println. Now, it may not make sense to you yet why we need the dot, but just know that for now, you might need to memorize this invocation, okay? It's complaining that there is no semicolon at line 9. That's an easy one to fix. Now, as a rule of thumb, most statements in Java require a semicolon at the end, okay? That's just the way la the language works. That's just how you tell the compiler that this statement is over, and now the next statement can uh, begin. Now it's complaining that it cannot resolve the symbol hello. What's that about? If you remember the uh, from the last video, we had double quotations sorry, around the hello world to, to say that this is a string, this is a textual content that you need to print. If, if you don't have those, or you don't have one of them, you're going to introduce a problem. Because it's going to think that this is some sort of symbol, like a variable or whatever. So you need to have the double quotations to tell the compiler that, hey, look, this is a textual string that you can print. Are we done here? I mean, I don't see any problems. I see yellow warnings, but I don't see any red problems. Just going to make it a little bit prettier. So in the last video, we ran the class and we saw some output. We saw this hello world being printed. Well, can we do that now? I don't see any of the play buttons that were here that were handy for us to go ahead and run the class. So what seems to be the problem here? Why isn't Java and why isn't IntelliJ offering us that play button? Well, it has to do with this line. This line, if you remember, we wrote public static, right? Void main. That was the, the line that we wrote here. And once we add that, we see the play buttons. So let me do it again. We have public, we have void, but we don't have static in the middle, right? And then even when we have public static void, the name of the function is main1 here. Now, in order to make a class executable, you need a function called main. That is public. That is static. That doesn't return anything. That takes an argument of type string array. More on that later. In order for that play button to show up. Click play. It'll compile and run the class, and we see the output. Now, what if I asked you to print something else? So what if I said, print your name? Now, my name is Hazm, so let's make this class print my name. How do we do that? I'm going to replace hello world with hello Hazm. Click play again, and that's what it's printing. All right, that's the end of the video. I hope it's been useful to you. Feel free to share other mistakes that one can make while they're writing the first Java program in the comments section below. My name is Hazem. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Cheers.